Attack on Titan Final Season Part 2's official main trailer is finally here and it's good to be wrong. Yo, what's good? It's a boy dude reviews and I am so happy I'm wrong because I thought that trailer we got a few weeks back was the final trailer before the new episode was to premiere in January but Marpa just dropped this greatness. Let's just do a full breakdown of this trailer man. The trailer starts off with this gorgeous sun and cloud background and it looks beautiful and man I'm just happy and it has Zeke rising up and we've got the full shot of him looking up and then Eren's shot of the attack titan and his hair blowing in the wind. The CGI looks a million times better in this trailer so far than what we got in the previous season and I love the addition of his hair flowing in the wind and Marpa adding the green eyes also they got rid of the blur filter as well and added more shading to the attack titan as well which I really enjoyed Aaron roaring towards Reiner and him just charging forward like the run animation looks beautiful on it it feels way more fluid and less stiff like and Rana getting prepared to attack the Shingeki no Kyojin. There's a lot more fluidity and a lot more better timed out motion when it comes to the CGI Titans in these shots which I'm really liking. And then we've got this shot of Gracia just going absolutely crazy and nuts. I think it's the scene when he meets the royal family and I like how they stylized it. It's very stylized. He's kind of in this red slash brownish hue tint with like a really dark blue background and the camera just zooms out and then you get all these like weird shots these really trippy colorful shots it looks like we're going through the doctor's time vortex and doctor who it looks really creepy and then we see mikasa i love the art of mikasa from when she was a kid in this shot it looks very consistent to the previous seasons yet also keeping that marpa art some reused shots from the previous trailer like Aaron transforming but we get this brand new shot of the jaegerist slash scouts all flying towards to battle marley a brief shot of some of the Malian soldiers charging into battle from the airships trying to fight the Jaegerists and Eren Jaeger. Then we've got this shot of Reiner falling down and I will admit it's my least favourite shot of the trailer so far. That's just a small nitpick. Then we've got this pretty angry shot of Eren looking towards Reiner as he's about to fight. Then we've got a close up shot of Beast Titan. Got pretty nasty teeth but of all the shots of the Beast Titan so far in the final season including part one. This is definitely the best I've seen of him. Then we've got Aaron running, charging towards Reiner, about to punch him. And then you've got this really brief and you'll miss it moment of Reiner's eyes just sort of peering from his armored um, shell, which looks gorgeous and amazing. Armin, Jean, Kani and Mikasa are about to charge into battle, about to help Eren. And this really nice shot of Jean, really beautifully drawn, really nice lighting of him. And then we've got Flotch flying in the air. The ODM gear scenes look pretty nice. Like there's clarity, it's not in the dark. We can see the full character and all their colors and their glory. Elena smiling at the wonders of the war and her eyes glistening in that shot. And she's looking at the airship as it's crashing down. And I love this high angle shot of her looking up and you got this wide shot of Shinganshina and some of the blimps just falling down dropping and exploding then we've got our boy Onion Coupon opening the cell to rescue Eren's friends from the trap dungeon and of course we've got the same shot of Mikasa but a different drawn face of her looking down peak just bombing everyone and just going crazy and ham and I love the lighting and the cinematography it feels like episode one of the final season part one and Armin about to fire one of the thunder spears and he looks pretty cool in this shot as well the vibrancy I mean there's color in this shot of Armin there's color in all of these shots which was lacking in part one at times but I guess they wanted to keep it kind of dull and gritty but it's popping a little bit more which I'm really liking now and then we've got Gabby's eyes widening up and she's about to shoot I wonder who she's going to aim her gun at this time and then Magiv his eyes are just rageful and just angry at what Eren did to his hometown and he's just he's just focused and on the mission and Peak's cart titan but it's looking kind of battered and there's no flesh on it this time like I forgot what happened in the manga so I'm gonna keep this anime only friendly but it looks like someone did a 
pretty brutal attack on her. We've got another shot of Annie in the crystal just to remind the audience that hey Annie's still here. But then we've got this shot of Aaron just running through Shingachina as the other soldiers and Titans are just fighting one another and he's just running to one person. Gabby's about to shoot someone or something and it just cuts to this gorgeous panning shot of just the whole city just covered in red hue. As we zoom in a bit more we see Aaron but there's smoke and there's a very big marking right behind him like where the walls are. I wonder where that's gonna lead to and what this all means and why the whole area is looking red because the last time we saw a city in red Armand's colossal titan was just wrecking havoc so what does this mean for the future of the story? And then we just cut to it looks like a little girl in a blue world. Galliard's just running around Shinganshina, just hopping and yeah, again, this is the best CGI I've seen of him so far. I mean, he was the best Titan and his reaction shots of him being inside the Titans are always the best. I mean, man, Mapa, when they know how to do facial expressions, they go extreme. And then we've got Zeke just throwing some rock. And again, the Beast Titans animation is pretty nice in this. It really does look nice. And then we've got Aaron just looking pretty angry and very emotional in this shot of him in this blue world. And it looks like he's talking to someone. Why is he so angry and mad? It looks like for the first time in this season, he's finally showing more emotion than he was. And he's just like going ham and he's just like flipping running around. And yeah, another great shot of um, Aaron just using the hardening ability and just about to punch Reiner and I just love the fluidity of the hair there's more motion of the hair his eyes are more green and Reiner's just charging in the CGI is still there but it's beautiful and then we've got a reaction shot of Aaron's pain as he's been impaled by Reiner I mean wow again more great CGI here it's more improved is it better than the 2D tires we got in with studios version heck no but for what Marpa did, it looks pretty amazing. And then we've got this eye to eye shot of Zeke and Aaron, and they're looking pretty mad at one another. And then they're about to headbutt one another, and then bolts of lightning just start peering from one another. And then we've got this pretty wild shot of Zeke roaring. And again, for the first time, we have seen more animation on his body. His fur is moving, his facial expressions look extreme and wild. and. Then we just got all the Eldians who were injected with the wine just transforming into Titans. And then we've got the mysterious girl, the one in the blue world. I wonder who she could be. Aaron pointing towards the sea. And then we've got Gabby just trying to reach out to someone. Falco's tearing up and he's just terrified. That's it. That's how it all comes to an end. And yeah, what do I think of this trailer so far? Knowing where the manga is at, this is just practically 2% of what we're going to get in the future of Attack on Titan story. So, I mean, for what they gave us, they really, really held back on the spoilers, but they gave us enough to be hyped for. So I really applaud Marpa for that. And yep, the CGI is much more improved than the previous seasons. They've removed that blur filter completely on the characters, on the CGI, so the characters just pop more now. There's a bit more contrast to them, where before they were sort of in this like tingy, sort of blurry world, but that was to make it more cinematic and I kind of like that but now it's kind of reminiscent of what the previous seasons were, where they didn't have that blur effect, it was just more vibrant in those seasons and I'm really curious to know who the opening and ending artists are going to be in this season, whether Link to Horizon are going to return or not, who knows. The soundtrack also sounds amazing, very reminiscent of season one and that's by Kohata Yamamoto, thank you very much my dude, you did amazing in that score. And that's about it, I'm gonna give this trailer a 9 out of 10, I'm gonna give it an A. I know it's just a trailer but I'm just happy that Marpa really held back and I'm really really happy that they've improved a lot of their CGI moments and yeah it's making me appreciate the CGI a lot more now and yep I'm just super excited to see where the story goes in anime form and yeah thank you for watching check out my live reaction to this trailer I just did it on my Stranger Bear Reacts channel stay tuned to this channel because I'm going to do a manga versus trailer comparison where I'm going to use the manga shots to compare to this trailer and what we got like subscribe for more anime and manga reactions and reviews Check out my Attack on Titan TV vs Blu-ray comparisons, my Attack on Titan rankings and other anime rankings and reviews. And check out my reaction channel as well. Thanks for watching Boy Did Review signing out.